Okay guys, what I'm going to do in this video is provide you an example of how to constrain an ad set using the breakdown. And what I'm using is the country breakdown, as you can see, um, and I'm going to constrain this ad set here. The average CPP is 13.78 and we have one ad set, one country, sorry, that is, you know, holding this back from being a lot lower. It could be around the £12 mark, which you might not think is a lot, but to say I've spent nearly £2,200 on this ad set, that is a lot of sales that I could have got a lot cheaper. I've made 23 sales at £20. I could have made another... I spent 470. I could have made another 40 sales on this on this or between these two countries here. I could have doubled my sales pretty much. Um, rather than having 20, I would have had another 40 between these two, hopefully. Anyway, so moving on, this is how you would constrain the ad set. You would either, and I'm not gonna suggest to you which you should do, which but I'll show you what I prefer to do. I prefer to simply click the ad set and then click edit and you leave all the settings the same other than the part that you're going to constrain, the part that you're optimizing thanks to the breakdown. And as I said, I am doing the country, I'm optimizing the country. So all I would do is find the country in the list here. As you can see, it's the US and it's already been uh, the US itself I've already constrained in the past and uh, excluded some, some states here using, thanks to my Google Analytics data, um, I think it was. And all I'm going to do is remove the US from this ad set and it's going to stop running the ad and showing the ad to people in the US and it's going to constrain and optimize the ad spend um, and it'll be spent on these three remaining countries here. I'm not going to show you what they are though. So all I would do is remove the US and then click save and close, go through, save it, and it'll be done. It'll be constrained, it'll be narrowed. And then what you would do is just take a note of the ad set name and the date that you constrained it, and then give it a week or so, come back to the ad set, look at the country breakdown again, or look at the average breakdown just, you know, without, sorry, or look at it without a breakdown and you'd look at your piece of paper, you'd find the ad set and you'd set this time here. Let's pretend we constrained it a month ago or a week ago. You would just select the day you constrained it and update and then all the data in these columns would be from that date onwards. If you are going to start constraining and optimizing and editing ad sets, it is important that you do measure the, the effects it has. So that's why I've showed you quickly. All you would do is take note of the ad set name, take note of the date you made the changes, let it run for a couple of days and then come up here and change the date range on your columns, on your reports. And it you can then make a decision on whether it has indeed lowered the CPP or not of that ad set on average. So that's how you constrain an ad set 